our two wheel journalist friends are here, but our four wheel friends are here, and it's so very rare in the year that we launch motorcycles. Uh, but this year is a big year for BMW, for BMW Group Malaysia, not just for our cars, but for our motor rep colleagues as well. And today we have a special presentation by them. And to start the event of today, I'd like to invite Mr. Owen Riley, head of BMW Motor Rep Malaysia, and he and his team have a special presentation for us. So Owen, please take it away. Thank you, Sashi. Good morning, everybody. Ladies, gentlemen, friends, all the media. Welcome to BMW Motorrad. We have a full house. Thanks for being here with us. We really appreciate uh, that, you, that you join us today. So, yes, the journey of BMW Motorrad continues. And with your support and also from our customers, of course, uh, we are finding uh, our sales in Malaysia continuing to grow. 2018 was actually uh, our highest ever year for retail sales, nearly 1,200 motorcycles with a 7% approximately growth on the previous year. So um, that's the story so far. But today we look to the future and to the next step. All right. Okay, so are you looking for a city motorcycle with surprisingly good performance and very, very impressive economy. It's a good combination. Are you looking for a motorcycle with modern advanced safety features like powerful twin disc front brakes, like BMW uh, ABS braking system, like automatic stability control, a lot of nice features? Or maybe you are looking for a motorcycle which is have the cutting edge of design, very dynamic looking, very impressive lifestyle features. For example, full color TFT display, phone connectivity, LED headlamp, and even keyless ride. So you don't need a key anymore. So if you are looking for a motorcycle with packed with all of these features, then we have just the right product for you and for our customers. And this is the new mid-size urban mobility from BMW Motorrad. So, I would like to present to you the new BMW C400X and C400 GT. Thank you. Product specialist, 
and he is going to explain some more details on the bikes. So that is Mr. KK Wong. So KK, good morning. Good morning. Thank you. Thanks. Thank you. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. Can I see some familiar faces. Uh, right. So in 2012, BMW entered the urban mobility sector with the introduction of the C600 Sport and C650 GT Maxi scooter. So that definitely has uh, given up the scooter market. Now we have the mid-size C400 scooters, which is a logical expansion and also shows BMW's commitment in this urban mobility segment. Uh, BMW has addressed the target group as broadly as possible with two different product versions. Built on the identical backbone, the C400X focuses more for users in the inner urban areas, while the C400GT covers a wider urban environment, especially with its economics, yeah, more friendly economics. So, uh, you can refer to the slide on the LED screen. So, these bikes are very light, driving about 203 kilograms. Uh, it has an upright proportion that offers very good economics and it has superior handling. It's also very agile and very traffic friendly because of the slim slide profile. So, very easy to navigate through the urban traffic. Uh, in terms from the front, we have the iconic BMW headlights built using the latest LED lighting elements. Yeah. On the C4X, you can see the familiar headlight design that is inspired by the GS range. And both the headlights have daytime running lights integrated into it as well. One key feature available in this segment, not available in other brands, is BMW's keyless ride. Now, with the keyless line, it allows the user to control multiple functions on the bike. For example, after riding, all you need to do is just to press the ignition button for 5 seconds, you will lock the handlebar, you will lock the seat, you will lock the two storage compartments automatically. Yeah. So, in the storage compartment, we also have a 12 volt socket that allows you to charge the phone while you are riding. The next is uh, the flex case, which is uh, below the back seat here. So BMW Montreal introduced the flex case with the C600 and C650GT uh, Maxi scooter. It's also available with the C400. With a push of a button, you can actually increase the luggage space and you can actually fit in an integral helmet and a half-shell helmet below the seat. So it makes it really convenient to use the bike yeah? and you go committing for your daily work right. Next, as uh, my colleague Owen has mentioned, we also included BMW connectivity into these scooters. With BMW connectivity, it comes with a 6.5-inch high-definition color TFT screen, and it allows you to have the navigation information on the screen, yet at the same time, you can answer and make phone calls. If you're on Spotify, you can choose the music that you want to listen to, all via the multi-controller over here. It's really user-friendly to use. All right, now we come to the engine. Uh, both the scooters are powered by a water-cooled single-cylinder engine that is uh, about 350 cc, producing 34 horsepower, 35 newton meter of torque, yet only consume 3.5 liters for every 100 kilometers. They are very pretty efficient. And one point that I want to stress here is look closely into the picture of the drive train. There is no more secondary belt. The rear wheel it's just driven by a set of gears. So there's no need for belt replacement, so maintenance cost is really, really low. Uh, a few of the things about the dimension of the bike, in terms of uh, fuel capacity, is 12.8 liters. It has a 4 liter reserve as well. Dry weight, 203 kilograms. And comes standard with the bike, because we're always concerned about the safety of all our riders, is BMW's uh, two-channel Montreal ABS. So in terms of color, it comes in Zenit Blue, Alpine White, and Black Storm for the C400X. For the GT, we have Moonwalk Gray, as you can see in front here, Alpine White, and Black Storm. Uh, so pricing, for the C400X, it's 44500 and the GT, another $4,000 extra. So to sum up my presentation, uh, we think that this bike, in terms of design, is very appealing, especially for Malaysia, it's very important. We 
because before we buy anything, the first thing is like, ah, it must look good. Yeah. Then only we look at the price, hopefully. Okay. And the second thing is the reliability. Uh, this bike really suits the Asian market because it has a slim profile, lower center of gravity, and it's very light. So even for ladies, it's also very easy to ride this bike. The third thing is affordability. So we believe with the attractive pricing, uh, even a fresh graduate could afford to own one of these bikes. Last but not least, the best bit is our three-year unlimited international warranty, unlimited mileage warranty. Yeah. So, for example, if you decide to leave the urban area and you want to have Tom Yam in Hajai, you can have a stress-free and worry-free ride all the way there. All right. So, that's it for me. If you have any questions, uh, you can always ask me later on. So I'll uh, get it back to Owen. Thank you. Great. Thank you again. A lot of nice features, right? Okay. So you will, for those of you who ride, you will have the opportunity to ride C400X and C400 GT today. We have bikes waiting for you. So we will do that next. Enjoy it. Ride safe when you go. But you will notice there is an empty space here. And, um, well, the clue is already there. We would like to present to you actually another, uh, another first here in Malaysia. Now, the R1200 RT, you already know. This is an existing product. Uh, this is the premium luxury touring segment of our model range. The R1250 RT is the new generation of 1250cc boxer engine which is now coming into our range. And this is the first model which we are introducing into Malaysia with the 1250cc engine. Okay, so I think we should have a look at the bike. So without further ado, let's bring in and introduce the new R1250 RT. Thank you. Of the engine. 
This is the exhaust cam, this is the inlet cam. So you can actually see there is two cam profile. This is the full load profile, which is bigger, and this is the partial load profile. And how the shifting happens? There is an actuator over here with two pins. So when the shift happens, this two pins will come up and it will move the cam left or right because there's a group here and it will move the cam to the left or to the right. So if it moves to the right, that means it goes into the full load profile. When does the cam shift happen? Okay, that depends on the load of the engine. If you're running uphill, even at 2000 RPM, the shift will happen. If you're running on a straight road, even though with little, very little load, it will happen at 5000 RPM. So you can actually feel the responsiveness of the engine. You can't really feel like a sudden rush of power because you don't want that on the bike. It's actually very progressive, very linear in terms of the engine response. Now, go back to the previous slide. Okay, if you look at the power and the torque curve, the Mokorat engineers have done a great job because the power increase and the torque curve is all across the board. And the amazing thing, if you notice, at 2,000 RPM, you have 110 newton meter of torque at 2,000 RPM. So that is how responsive the engine is. And that's only possible because of the shift gear technology. I will play a video and then I will stop it and I will just want to highlight some of the things in the shift cam engine. So inner cam, exhaust cam. So now the shift has happened and you are at the part load. Part load profile. Okay, stop right here. So I want you to pay attention at these two inner part. At partial load, BNW engineers have created, invented this thing called phase shift. Phase shift. So the two inner cams will actually move not in parallel but there's a slight shift at partial load. So that actually creates a swirl in the combustion chamber to have better fuel efficiency, better combustion that gives you more power and better efficiency. So we have this thing called phase shift. Okay, continue the video. So you can see the movement of the inlet fence. So it's a wonderful technology. So now this is at full load. So at full load, you can also see that the wharf opening is a lot deeper to the maximum. And the difference is about 5 mm in terms of the cam lead difference. So this time, both the inlet wharf moves in parallel to give you maximum power. Okay, good. Interesting technology with the shift cam. Um, I also would like to highlight some of the new changes, the updates to the 1250RP. Um, on the exterior side, we have a new fairing design together with a new engine spoiler over here, which was not available in the previous model. And we also introduced or updated the 1250RP with three new technologies. The first one is dynamic electronic suspension adjustment. We call it the next generation. Now, what is the difference compared to the previous generation? Uh, basically, dynamic SR is a self-leveling suspension. Now, for the bike to handle well, the bike geometry always have to be on a straight line. Now, if you're riding with two riders with luggage at the back, naturally, the rear of the bike will move lower. So, if you don't have dynamic SR, what you need to do is you have to adjust the pre to make sure that it's on a straight line again. So previously, with dynamic SR, you can adjust one rider, rider with pillion or with luggage. You have to manually adjust it. Now with dynamic SR next generation, 
the bike will sense the load at the rear automatically and it ensures that you always have a straight line in terms of the bike geometry. And that's what makes our bikes handle so well because that is how the engineer designed the bike to ride. You have to have a straight line. Yeah. So at all kinds of loads, you always have the bike that handles just like how the engineer designed it to be. Yeah. So that is dynamic SR next generation. Uh, the next technology we have is dynamic braking control. Uh, this is a safety feature. When I when I do rider training, you know, teaching the riders how to do emergency braking, I always notice, I say, okay, put the clutch off the throttle and grab the front brake lever. But a lot of riders, they panic, and all they do is just grab the front brake lever with the throttle still on. And that actually increases your stopping distance. So what dynamic braking control will do for you right now, even though you're on the throttle, you grab your front brake in an emergency situation, the bike knows that you are in an emergency situation. What it will do is, it will actually close the throttle body to reduce the engine power. So even though you are on the power, you grab the front brake, you will close the throttle body, reduce the engine power, and that will ensure that you have the shortest stopping distance possible automatically. Now, that's dynamic braking control. Uh, the next technology is called Heel Start Control Pro. This is a feature that makes riding very effortless and comfortable. If you're riding up a slope, and then uh, say for example at a junction, tap on the slope, and then you stop your bike, just tap your front brake, it will automatically engage the rear brake to prevent the bike from rolling down automatically. It works if the incline is five degrees or more. Yeah, it will engage the feature automatically. So these are the new features with the P50 RT, with the new shift cam engine, dynamic SR next generation, dynamic braking control and fuel start control pro. Uh, in terms of colors, what we see here is uh, mass gray. We also have alpine white and carbon black. These are the three colors that we make available in the Malaysian market. Now in terms of price, 139500 for the new L50 RT. So that's it for me. Thank you. Thank you. Very nice, huh? Interesting? Yeah. Okay, so... Alright, so new BMW Auto 50 RT. So those are the bikes that we want to present to you today. There actually is another motorcycle which you have not seen before, which is also here, which is a very nice bright yellow bike outside, which is the new F750 GS. So you know the F850 GS, we've launched that bike already, and this is the 750 variation of the bike. So slightly lower saddle, uh, different engine power, and so on. So we're not going to present the bike in detail, but if it's there, you can uh, see the bike, and uh, yeah. Um, if you have questions, we can, we can answer those. All right. So last from me, you're going to enjoy this test ride. So go out, have fun. Stay safe. I think you all uh, uh, you're all experienced riders anyway. Those of you who are riding. So uh, yeah. Uh, once again, from my side, thanks very much for coming. Um, take your time. We are here for you. Uh, now I would like to uh, hand back over to Sashi Ambi, our head of corporate education. Thanks, Owen. Uh, just see you in front, and I'd like to invite our walk to the front, as well as Mamidi. Uh, our technical manager. We are open up for questions for the floor. If you have a question, please raise your hand. Uh, we and Wong will take questions on technicals. Uh, Owen and I will take strategy for BMW Motorrad and BMW later. So, can we get the first question? There is one. Thank you. 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 Uh, don't okay guys, so now I'm at the BMW Malaysia launching of their new three motorcycles right now. So over here, I'm going to show you the new uh, scooter C400X. So this is just a, a quick walk around video on the bike. So both scooters are right now uh, equipped with a TFT display. So 
you get compartment here both sides you press the button here to open the seat up there's a flex case here so if you putting your full face helmet here you can't operate the engine so you have to always remember to like uh, to remove it back uh, when you want to start back your journey so over here the compartment they say you can put a open face helmet so basically that's it so there's also some few different key difference on the X and the GT model uh, you can see the rear tail lamp side signal seat at the rear this is using conventional I think it's conventional uh, that I think is using already it's integrated with the rear lamp uh, moving along both model is uh, the C400X and the C400 GT is using the LED headlamps both uh, comes with uh, ABS dual channel Vibray, brake calipers, and uh, using Pirelli Angel GT Angel scooter, I'm sorry, Angel scooter tires so, so over here is the GT version So GT version has a different design also, different styling a bit Basically the compartment is also the same So I'm not going to open the seat up again So this has a quite unique uh, headlamp as well so come we move over to the engine over here so BMW Malaysia also highlights the uh, engine for the scooter as well so it's a one cylinder engine uh, 34 horsepower 35 newton meter of torque 350cc 3.5 liter per 100 km uh, for this engine uh, all the bikes, the C400 series is uh, manufactured in China so, so there's no worries and it's fully developed by uh, BMW themselves it's, uh, There's no partnership with any other manufacturers as I per told So moving along is the uh, R1250 RT so let's just see let's do a quick walk around okay i'm going to just show you all right because outside there they will be also displaying the bikes so So I'll either just do a walk around on the bike there and explain the bike as well. So over here, there's a Mini Cooper S 5-door uh, version uh, being displayed out here, but not many people uh, saw the car. So I'll just give you a quick walk around of the car first. Alright. Just a quick walk around of the car. Yeah, you can open it up and uh, you can see the interior of the car. Look at the seats. Amazing. Very, very cool. Look at the rims as well. Uh, comes with the John Cooper Works Edition. So, moving to the driver's seat. Yes. Wow. Cool. Very cool. If only I can get a review unit, then I could uh, able to talk more. Uh, I'll put the specification of the car, the link on the uh, description, so you guys just uh, remember to check it out. All right, you can see. All right, pedal shifter. So yeah, yeah, this is a cool car indeed. So. Let's see what other things they are showing as well. So over here, they are also showing the uh, BMW F750 GS and uh, F850 GS. So this model is already available in Malaysia. So 
So currently it's selling around 79,500 ringgit Malaysia. So this is the 750 version. So primarily you getting the conventional Fox. As compared to the A50, you getting the upside down Fox. Then the you getting different wheels. It's a multi spoke. That using the normal alloy rims. Uh, even the turn signals are not using the conventional bulbs. It's not using the LED like the 850. So this goes 71,500 ringgit Malaysia. <coughs> so let's see over here the accessories, uh, full face helmets, uh, jacket, vest, and so on. So let's continue move on. Yes, I promised to show you all the R twelve fifty outside here. So basically, what's new? There's an engine spoiler according to the BMW wraps. So it helps cool the engine much better this time. Then uh, you get also. Heel start assist on this bike. Yeah, then you also you get the new suspension system as well, which helps uh with the bike balancing as well. It's much more better. Then the engine is also come with the new shift cam engine. So currently shift cam engines are only available on. As far as I know, it's only two models. The R twelve fifty RT and the S one thousand R twenty nineteen version only. All right. Yeah. So that's it. So this is what the BMW Malaysia has just launched for their Motorrad line. So I quite like the scooter. Scooter is amazing. Uh, let's hope I can get a review unit for that model. And meanwhile, yeah, those who got any questions on the bike, you can just shoot in the down in the comments. And uh, remember to like and share my video. And if you're new to my channel, go and subscribe it so I can deliver much more better content. All right, all right. Thanks. Ciao.